Hey guys, it's the Obud Man here, back with another video, and today, we are going to finally do the Q&A video that I promised I would do when I hit 200 subscribers. So yeah, I hope you like my little Q&A thing I did there. I made out of diamonds this time and not out of gold. Now before we get into all the questions, which are, I think, yeah, they're all right there, I would like to say thank you all so much for 200 subscribers, it's amazing. I can't believe that, you know, I'm here right now, and it only took, like, six months to get another whole 100 subscribers, so thank you all very much. I hope to continue to gain more, and yeah, I guess now we'll start answering the question as- answering uh, the questions, I mean. As you can see, I have my Joe skin on from the seven days. The third part, I don't know when that's gonna be coming out. I'll start filming it soon, but anyways. Let's start with the Q&A. So, the first person we'll answer questions from is, of course, from our good old friend, Test Gamer Vlogs. Alright, so let's see his first question. He asks, I've noticed that the Loot Crate unboxings have come to a rest. When will you start up again? Alright, Test Gamer, well, here's the thing about Loot Crates. Loot Crates aren't exactly free. You have to pay for them every month. I think it's like... I don't know, $15 a month or something like that. But yeah, that's pretty much why I don't uh, do them every month. Otherwise, I probably would if they were free. So, um, when is it gonna start up again? Probably maybe around Christmas. I usually get a three-month plan for Christmas. But uh, yeah, that's why they're, they're not running anymore, because uh, my subscription ran out. So yeah, that was just one of Test Gamer's questions. He's got another one for me here. So let's go ahead and read that. Alright, this is a funny one. In your opinion, which is better? Burger King or Grandma's homemade chicken fingers on a Sunday? Alright, so in case you guys didn't already know, sometimes when I go to my grandmother's house, she makes these chicken fingers that sometimes get stolen by some no-good, dirty, rotten, chicken-stealing monster. And yeah, that's what he's referring to. So he's asking which one is better. Now, believe it or not, I've only had Burger King like three times in my, enti in my uh, entire life. And so what I can say from that is, I, I pick Burger King, and Burger King is, it does taste better. So uh, yeah, that was the answer to your questions, Test Gamer. Let's give you a shout out real quick. So here's Test Gamer Vlogs. Go subscribe to him. He just recently started doing vlogs again. He's doing a fishing series, and he's also doing a Skyblock series on Minecraft. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. The next question is from Linda P, and she asks What new animal mob would you like to see in Minecraft, and why? Alright, so. Anyways, first I'd like to say, Minecraft is doing a pretty good job with adding new animals. Just this year we got, uh, parrots, and last year we got, like, polar bears and llamas and stuff like that. So they've been, they've been doing pretty good with that. An animal that I would want is probably a sea animal, like a shark or an octopus, because they really lack on water animals. They only have the squid, and they have those two guardian-type things. Is this pig following me right now? Alright. Well, anyways, yeah, that's what I would have as a new animal mob. Either a shark or an uh, octopus or something. A fish, just something, underwater. So yeah, that was Linda P's uh, question. You don't have to uh, subscribe because she doesn't have any content on her channel. And uh, the next question. Alright, so our next question is from nbglowrock12. Let's see what he asks. When you record, how do you get the volume to go silent when you talk, and then when you're done talking, the volume goes back to normal? Alright, Glowrock, so yes, there's actually something very specific that I do to get that feature to happen. I don't know if it's gonna be the same for you, because I know you record on OBS, and I use Elgato Game Capture. But uh, here's what I do, I'm actually doing it right now. So, in the software that I'm using, there's a, there's a tab for live commentary. And then there's another tab that 
you can choose the microphone, and there's like a mic sensitivity dial, and then there's also this little box that says that says automatically reduce game sound. And that I can check off and it will reduce the game sound while I'm talking. So yeah, there's no editing that has to go into that whatsoever. It just does it all for me. So yeah, I hope that answered your question. I don't know if it'll work for yours. But uh, yeah, that was NB Glowrock. Go subscribe to him. He plays a bunch of arcade games and he plays Mugen, which is a fighting game. I don't know how popular that is. But yeah, you should go check him out. Alright, so now we can move on to the next question here. Uh, where is it? Okay, there we go. Uh, next question is from a big fan. That Endermat 2 Gaming. And he asks... Can you do a series on Minecraft PE, PC, or console? Well, Endermat, it's funny you ask this. Because, as a matter of fact... A long time ago, before my channel was this popular, I actually used to do uh, Minecraft survival live streams on Twitch. Uh, and I kept on doing that until an update came out and they took out the feature to broadcast live while playing Minecraft PC. So yeah, I couldn't do that anymore and I really didn't want to go through like having to hook up my capture card to my computer because it would just cause like a lot of lag to play like a 3D game and stream at the same time not so much the streaming but like that there was like another software running so uh yeah before i could just like play minecraft and stream so anyways but i was thinking and now that i have console edition i was thinking that maybe i could pick it back up i could start a new a fresh new minecraft live stream that i'll do i don't know how often because my live stream activity has kind of like dropped within the past year. I've actually had one this Saturday, and I might have one again on Friday. So yeah, I'm trying to just finish off a couple games that I've been playing through, and then once that's over, I will get into uh, playing Minecraft survival mode again. So you can follow me on Twitch. I am YoBudMan, no spaces. So yeah, Endermat, that was your question. Um, he doesn't have any content on his channel either. So let's just move on to the next question, which is from, okay, we got that one. Skyinator Music, an another fan, also known as uh, Metal Man. All right, so we've got, who inspired you to do YouTube? All right, now, this is who inspired me. As a matter of fact, Test Gamer Vlogs actually inspired me to do it because in case you didn't already know, he started YouTube before me, and then I saw his channel and, like, how well he was doing with it, and so I decided maybe I'll give it a try. And so I did, and, yeah, this is where I'm at now. So, pretty much, it's, be it's because of him that I exist. So, Test Gamer, I hope you, uh, you keep doing videos, and I hope maybe we can do another collab sometime, maybe another high pixel game. So, uh, yeah, that was your question. Sky and Music, you don't have any content on your channel either. But yeah, this is a, I guess, a shout out. Oh, we have the last question already. Okay, so the last question is from a JT31TNT. And he asks What is your favorite type of landscape or biome or graphical environment? Alright, now when IJ asked this, he was referring to video game environments, and really they're all good, but if I had to pick a favorite, I'd guess I'd go with ice levels, ice and snow levels. But the thing that like really amazes me about video game environments is like the transition. Like for example, if you're like in a lava world, and then you're just walking along and then you just find an ice world, like stuff like that, like... It happens in The Legend of Zelda a lot, like you're in like a water world and then you'll come in an ice world. And yeah, stuff like that. And I don't mean like transition like with portals and stuff, I mean like just keep walking and you get to it. Like it's amazing how it can uh, change like that. I hope you understand what I'm talking about, if not then I'll try to clarify. But um, I think that's all the questions. Yep, it is all the questions. Oh, I have to give you a shout-out. Alright, so shout-out to Ajayti. 
He does game reviews, and he sometimes does YouTube poops. And yeah, he does a bunch of stuff like that. Oh, and he makes Ape Escape uh, levels in Minecraft. So if you're, fa you're, if you're a fan of that game, then you should go check him out. All right, so that is it for the Q&A, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all liked the answers to your questions. I'm not exactly sure when my next Q&A will be, but uh, we'll have to see. So anyways, uh, in the future, I will start to work on the next episode of The Seven Days. I'll, I'll let you guys all know when I started to film that. But uh, yeah, just expect for the rest of this week just, the, just uh, the regular content that you see from me every week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.